Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial with tutexpert.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create this sketch effect. Now this is a really popular effect and you might have seen lots of tutorials that show different techniques but I'm going to show you a technique that works on just about every picture and what's nice about it, it gives you this nice texture so it looks like a real drawing. I mean this really does look like I scanned an image of a, uh, a really you know well done drawing and I didn't I just used a regular image this one right here now I'm going to show you really quickly the other method so I'm going to duplicate the background layer I'm going to go to image adjustment and desaturate okay now I'm going to duplicate the layer and then the top layer we're going to change to color dodge and then we're going to invert the information so there we go controller command I now we're going to go back to the layer that's underneath and we're going to go to filter blur and Gaussian blur now this is what you get and depending on your radius you can get some different you know you can bring it down to get a little more crispness in the lines but um, without without a lot of adjustments and and really some different filters and uh, maybe finding edges or going in here and and burning and uh, using color dot or dodge and burn you're going to have a difficult time creating that effect that I showed you on the other page so this right here these texture marks um, I can show you how to create those in a much simpler method with a much simpler method so first we're going to back we're going to go back to our background layer I duplicate it so that way I have this this layer is always preserved I I, I uh, started this years ago and make sure that I always have my original information so every one of my Photoshop files the original um, background layer is always locked and at the bottom now this will be our working layer so we'll call it working layer and I do want to take the uh, color out of it so I'll desaturate it now we have a black and white image and let's see what else do we need oh we're gonna need a new layer um, I am and I'll tell you why I'm I'm gonna use this as my background color when we put this underneath here and I put a layer mask on this working layer the layer mask will hide all the information that's here so I'm just gonna shut it off if I hide it I got I have a transparency right now and I don't want that so I'm gonna to go to my background color and I'm gonna fill it edit fill with white there we go so now when I hide or use the mask to hide the information here I I see white just like a you know a real drawing so we're going to put a mask attach it to this layer and the way to do that you can do it two different ways down here you can just click on this mask button add layer mask or you can go to layer mask and then do I want to reveal all or hide all well I want to hide all um, if I use this button right here it would just put a mask and then I'd have to fill it with black so now what does all that mean well really quickly I'll show you um, we've got a brush here and this brush is uh, using the white color and we're on our layer mask right here so when I paint on my layer mask not on the image on the layer mask I am saying everywhere there is white I want to see what's underneath so if I paint with black right now I'm saying I don't want to see what's on this layer I want to see whatever is underneath so if I shut that layer off you see it's it's just uh, transparent or if I had this background layer on and we had a layer mask obviously these are two of the same images um, this is a good way like watch this I will uh, let's see what I'm doing here we'll go back to this other method I could make her black and white and everything else color or conversely I could make her color and everything else black and white so that's really some cool effects that you can do with layer masks so we're uh, we're gonna shut that off and we'll turn the background layer on I'll click on here make sure I have fill and black okay so now you got some ideas some really neat uh, effects you can do with layer masks but let me show you what 
we're going to do today. We're going to choose, um, I think it's the fifth one in, first row down. Yeah, there we go. We're going to choose this brush, and at about 300, we're going to make sure we're on the working layer. We're going to choose white, and I'm on the mask, not the actual layer, and I'm going to scrape part of the layer mask or I'm going to paint this scraping brush onto the layer mask to reveal uh, our person underneath. So, and I'm going in a uh, kind of at a 90 or 45 degree uh, motion here because this is similar to, I don't know if they call it hatching. Um, if you go to your dollar bills, um, any denomination, you can look at the president and you can see that the artwork is really well done and they use this technique so we'll zoom in you can see you have some lines going one way and going the other and we're already starting to get that really nice effect uh, that makes it look like charcoal now here's something that I like to do I like to bring the brush size down and then I just kind of scrape around where the hair is you know because we want some good definition there and then I go the opposite direction a little bit and then the face we want to outline the face so we're gonna want uh, because she has these highlights here the background is a little darker so we're gonna want to make sure we get that so that we can actually see the information in the picture and then I'll I'll go both directions on the eye same with the nose and if you don't like it let's say I did a little too dark you know all I've got to do let's see here I'll, I'll really I'll really darken that up right there to where it doesn't look like hatching anymore I just go right here and I'll click and I'll, I'll take some out see I'll go back the other way or I can remove it all together and start over and sometimes I like to blend these two um, methods because it will make it look very original you know like a real drawing so and I think you get the idea and that's uh, that's it that's what this method is now um, if you don't like what the results are you can always go back and fill the layer mask with you know uh, black again or you can just use the brush and paint over it so if there's a section you don't like, just go to that section, change to black, and fill in the layer mask. So now you get the idea. All right, thanks for watching. This has been a video tutorial with tutexpert.com. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and check out another one. If you're on our site, go ahead and uh, read some articles or drop me a line. Feel free to ask questions, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.